All right, so my name is Gina Hara, and um, at uh, daytime, I am the um, creative director of TAG, which you have already heard about. At nighttime, I'm a filmmaker and artist, <laughs> literally. Uh, so you have heard about TAG, that's where I work. Um, it's an interdisciplinary research center, center uh, mostly focusing on gamey things, as uh, Bart usually like to say. Um, and today I would like to focus on um, two projects or two two kind of projects that we that we usually do, and these are very fast iteration um, uh, projects. And one of them is Critical Hit, the other one is Gamerella. Um, and in uh, these two, we usually try to focus on gem style making, and. Um, Usually game gems mean that people get together for a weekend, usually 48 hours, and from scratch till play testing, uh, they make a game. From nothing to something that you can, you can play. So this kind of method is really interesting for us and we've been doing a lot of different variations on this. And one of them is Critical Hit. Um, that is a 10 week long incubator uh, that we run in the summer in the last uh, four years. Um, and it's quite a big operation, so it has quite a big team. Uh, it comes with a, a flat um, hierarchy of um, co-directors and a big support team and even some extra volunteers uh, themselves. Um, and the most important uh, part of the whole thing is the participants themselves. If you really focus on trying to get as, as diverse t uh, team as, as possible, uh, participants as possible, and I mean not just personal backgrounds, but as well, uh, professional backgrounds. We don't don't just look for artists and game makers, but we look for you know dancers and people who are really good with crocheting. So if you really want to have put the diversity um, in every axis possible. Um, another very important part of the process is the mentors, who are also not just diverse but um, very professional. And we are lucky enough to be in Montreal. All huge game studios are there and um, a lot of art centers and these people are very knowledgeable and they're volunteering their time and knowledge to help the participants themselves. Uh, there's also a lot of other things going on which is peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning so the participants themselves are able because of the diversity teach each other a lot of things not just skills but you know life experience and views etc. Um, uh, we, we really like to think that we are pushing the participants to explore new things and experiment. And it's not just so we can create games or gamey things that would be impossible to make anywhere else, but also it's good for us because us being situated in a university, we like to explore how we can um, teach game making or how we can think about game making, how we can research it. Um, these are 17 games that were made um, last year. Um, they were not just look really good, they're actually really good games, completely playable. They were all made in one week, in 40 hours, with a, with a team of three to four. They're all online, if anyone wants to check them out, you can play them. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is Gamerella, which is just a game jam, so to say. It's a 48 hour, people get together and make gems, but it's a very special game jam, because it's catered for women, people of color, and other minorities who are usually um, um, not welcomed or uh, in academic or game spaces. So we are trying to create an environment where they feel welcome and comfortable. And it, it's not just the jam, it starts much earlier. Uh, it's workshops that are all free, are accessible, they're all online. Uh, they're taught by a lot of women in the industry um, and, um, and uh, they are very basic. So anyone can join in and pick up skills. And not just skills actually, but confidence as well. Uh, so often people realize, oh, this is much easier than I thought. And in addition, they meet people who are also interested in games. They don't have any gamey friends, so you know, team building starts right there. Mentors again, I can't emphasize it enough. Diverse mentors, knowledgeable mentors who are happy to share their knowledge. It doesn't matter, there's no stupid question. Um, and another very important thing in this particular environment is no pressure. So we don't give out best game prices and we make sure that people sleep and, and people feel comfortable. We have sometimes blanket forts. We had a kitten last year to make sure everyone feel, you know, comfortable. Um, and on that note, uh, I wanted to mention the things that we have uh, done this week um, and our uh, other tag members who are currently in Montreal, 
there over there. Um, so we have a few games that you can try out over there and upstairs. Um, and, a, and a few that were made in Montreal. Uh, so the Montreal team uh, joined us in, um, in a Skype video call over the week a few times. And they also uh, jammed on the theme dinner date and the Wojciech play. So the first one is an operation hack. It's a dinner date where you have to operate someone. The second one is uh, a Twitter bot that is tweeting the name of Wojciech, the character. The third one is a play for robots. You can listen to it over there. Uh, write to me is, um, try it out, it's over there. There are so many. <laughs> Who is this? is a website that will help you to uh, play out Wojciech, Mari, or Waiter. So you can go into the date, look at your phone, and read out the parts. Uh, this one is an iPhone app that helps you role play the dad Mari. <laughs> you can guess what it does. And the last one is this really cool hack, which is an eye, eye, co eye contact um, insurer. Yes, so you are supposed to have a dinner and have a perfect eye contact with a person on the other side. So, these are the things that we can do very quickly that allows for lots of experimentation and you know stretches your mind and your skills. And that's it, thank you. I think my time was over like two minutes ago.